Um, hello, everyone. My name is uh, Wang Miao. Miao is my Chinese given name. The character has three waters in it, which means vast ocean. But many people confuse it with the universal word for the cat sound. So I always kind of had this nickname, Miao the Cat Girl. And we all know the phrase, curiosity kills the cat, right? Basically, that's the, that's the expression my mom uses most when warning me about um, getting interested in things that I was not supposed to be interested in. Um, my mom is actually a pretty open-minded person. She's all right with most of the things. But there's one thing that she loathed so much, which was um, art. Any art form, really, art, music, performing, anything. She hates it so much, but for a good reason, I have to say, which uh, I'm sure you'll all understand. That reason was um, my dad <laughs> is an artist. So, um, yeah. <laughs> My dad was teaching um, Chinese calligraphy, painting, sculpting. And when I was um, six, maybe seven years old, he, um, my dad cheated with one of his art students, divorced my mom, and left us. So um, yeah, that's really sad. But that, after that happened, I was uh, cut off from my piano lessons, my dancing classes, and everything that's related to art. My mom was really scared that I would one day want to become an artist myself. So um, couldn't really blame her, right? I went to boarding schools um, where I was always the sort of this twisted kid. I was always this grade A student, but at the same time, this troublemaking rebel in the class. Um, skipping uh, school to go see concerts, disagreeing with the authorities. I went to this um, high school where they had this really strict rule against the uh, um, girls growing their hair over shoulder length. And, um, this is how long my hair was. So for three years, I had to fight for my long hair, and I had to prove that long hair doesn't affect academic performance. So when I, when I, when I, when I graduated, um, I scored the highest grade in my class uh, in the college entrance exam. And um, my head teacher said to me, in the future, in my class, any girl can have her hair as long as she wants. I went to um, university, uh, Renmin University in Beijing, uh, studied business management uh, and international tradings, uh, got a degree in economics. Four years in college, I also spent lots of time uh, outside of the campus, working part-time jobs at big corporations, but also at the same time hanging out with the cool people, writers, artists, musicians. Um, but when graduation drew closer, I got confused about my future career because I had this heart for art and especially music, but didn't really plan to become a musician myself and also had this trained brain for a business which I had no idea how I could apply this to the field I was interested in. Um, that's when Destiny called, and it all happened in the year of um, 2007, when I met this group of amazing Chinese DJs and electronic music producers. We were all crazy about this um, music style that swept Europe and the, then the entire Western world, minimal techno. At the time, this music style was considered so underground and um, even experimental that it wasn't played at any club or party in China. And uh, one of the DJs, XLF, Xiaolin Feng, he had this uh, studio in a big warehouse outside of the East Fifth Ring. And we would go there almost every other weekend to have our own little private parties to play and listen to this kind of music. Then gradually, word just kind of got uh, spread out, and we would receive messages from our friends um, asking if they could join us at our private gatherings. Um, there, we asked ourselves, even though everybody says that the nightlife scene in China is not ready for some avant-garde music style like minimal techno, maybe we just uh, got to give it a shot. Maybe people would actually appreciate it if they are ever exposed to it. With that in our mind, we had our first open to public event. Um, it was this Thursday night, just at a really small place in San uh, with no promotion whatsoever. The turnout was, was great. People loved it, and um, some foreigners who randomly stepped into our party came to us and said, wow, we didn't know that Chinese DJs play such cool music. Uh, where is your next party? We'd really love to come. 
So after the night was over, um, me and the DJs, we sat on the side of the road in San Lito, like seven or eight o'clock in the morning, and um, a decision was made. We would start a group to promote electronic music, as well as the spirit, culture, and lifestyle behind it in China. Not just by organizing parties, but also to establish a record label that releases um, tracks from Chinese electronic music producers on a global scale, and eventually put China on the world map of electronic music. Um, and um, as, as for my role in the group, we'll leave art to the artist, and I would, uh, sorry, I would take care of the business side. Um, the next mission was to think of a name for, for the group, um, which was a very harsh test on our creativity. So we were at this um, place of um, an acupuncturist receiving treatments, and this master of uh, Chinese traditional medicine was telling us the foundations about uh, this ancient, uh, ancient method. So she said there are three keywords to acupuncture, which are steady, accurate, and hard. And then an idea just uh, struck me, because um, steady, accurate, and hard, that's exactly like the techno music style. And I thought acupuncture records, what a perfect name. It's, um, it's so uniquely Chinese, and we always wanted a name with some Chinese feeling in it because we are a local group. And um, acupuncturists, they use needles, DJs use stylus. Acupuncture is a treatment for the body, music is a treatment for the mind. So uh, we were unanimous on the name, and we just thought, um, let's put the needle on the records. So in the two years that uh, followed, we saw our parties grew from 100 people to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 people. And earlier this year, on May the 23rd, we pulled off China's first ever big scale outdoor electronic music festival with um, 8,000 participants in Cho 2009. That was the greatest day of my life. And here's a little video clip. Um, well, I named the festival in Cho because um, it's an introduction to um, the local audience of the concept of an electronic music festival. And also by bringing over artists and audience from overseas is also an introduction to the outside world of this thriving scene in China. INCHO, I-N-T-R-O, also stands for the festival motto, which was uh, ideas need to reach out. Because we believe that music is um, this vital element that connects all people. Um, for the entire generation, music increased the feeling of togetherness and helped to overcome barriers. Electronic music is the sound of our era, and we long for this platform to express these beliefs and um, to showcase and support innovation in new music and digital art. Intro was such a platform. And um, when I showed this video later on to my mom, she was really proud. Um, 2009 has been a really great year for the record label as well. We put out three EPs, two albums, and our artists are working with some of the world's best labels and artists. And um, now, thanks to that, we are invited to perform at virus destinations around the globe. We just uh, came back last month from um, our label's world tour, leaving footprints covering four different continents, Europe, South America, North America, and Asia. It's been a bumping, but truly, truly wonderful journey. And um, now, looking back, um, I could never have thought of the change of life's path. In our world, everybody grew up with some sort of conditioning from the family, the school, the society. Everybody around you expects something out of you. But what do you expect out of yourself? Who you truly are? What do you truly love doing? Those are the real questions, the questions that we are not born with the answers to. We can all feel that passion in our chest, but one might not figure it out until later on in one's life. So I think it's important that we listen to that voice in your head 
and um, dig deeper, discover yourself. Um, also, to be prepared, use your brain and follow the heart. Thank you.